Welcome to a family art workshop presented by Wheaton Arts. Today we are making a layered landscape. The required materials are cardboard or cardstock, oil pastels, craft glue, an optional ruler, scissors or a utility knife, and a rubber band. Begin by folding your cardboard or cardstock into an accordion style fold. Your goal is to have at least three to four equal panels, and since cardboard is a rigid material, use a ruler to measure your panels prior to folding to get equal folds on your first try. Open the folds and use a pencil to sketch a diagonal sloping line from the upper left corner to the lower right. Cut along this line using scissors or a utility knife and set aside your scrap pieces so that they can be used later on for the landscape elements. Fold the cardboard and get a sense of which size of the layers are visible. Since the material is rigid, use a thin rubber band at the base of the folds to keep the folds together while also still having a slight gap between the layers. You can cover it with additional landscape elements if you want as we work through the project. Using oil pastels, apply base colors for your design. You can also unfold and refold the layers as you apply color. Think of this as a stage set. You want to begin with a broad majority of colors and slowly add layers to build a landscape. The layer that is farthest away will likely be your sky layer. The one or two layers in the middle may be mountains, a forest, or a distant meadow, while the layer that is closest to you will be the grass, snow, desert sand, etc. that is directly in front of you. I started with a grass layer that turns to hills on the next layer with a pumpkin patch in the distance, followed by my sky. Now it's time to draw your landscape elements on the scrap cardboard or cardstock that you set aside earlier. Create a variety of sizes for the different layers. For instance, cut out small trees and large trees, or in the case of my landscape, small pumpkins and large pumpkins. Cut out your drawings and use craft glue to insert them into your multi-level landscape. Remember to consider the phenomenon of apparent size. The concept of apparent size combines math and science to explain why objects in the distance appear smaller in size. If you place an object on the panel that is closest to you, the size would be large, but if you place that same object on the panel that is furthest away, the size of that object would scale down. Thank you for joining us and please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. 